Today, I'm gonna show you how you can remove anything that you like just within Lightroom. Yo, Karla Fretta, my name is Arnulur, and today I'm gonna show you how to use that spot removal tool within Lightroom. This is a powerful, powerful tool, and with great power, comes great responsibility. Do people still say that? I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you when it's the best time to use it. And I'll just basically show you everything that I know about this little beautiful tool. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into Lightroom. All right, so welcome to Lightroom. So first things first, I know how to access this beautiful little tool. You can access this by pressing this little circle right here or simply by pressing Q on your keyboard, all right? Now you will get up this circle here, which you can change in size like this. You can either drag here in size or you can just put two fingers on your touchpad and zoom, zoom. easy. I want to remove these little spots here. I don't like them. So let's zoom a little bit in like so. Now all you have to do is just press on the place that you want to remove and Lightroom will automatically find a place on the picture that it thinks is similar to replace with the spot that you want to remove. It's like magic. Now here, if Lightroom does a bad job, sometimes happens, you can always take and readjust this by just simply pressing on the circle and moving it wherever you like to find a better spot. All right. So wherever you like, you can move this. Okay. Now I want you to know that there are actually two, like two tools within this tool. You have cloning and then you have healing. Now, the difference between cloning and healing is something that you need to know. Cloning, if you press cloning, then Lightroom is taking exactly these pixels here and placing them over the spot that you want to remove. So if for demonstration of purposes, let's move this to the boat here. And you can now see that Lightroom is taking exactly these pixels here and moving them over the spot. All right. Healing works a little bit differently. Healing is basically, if you press heal now, healing is taking these pixels right here and then trying to blend them in with the spot that you want to remove. So look, if we move this to here, you can really see how Lightroom is trying to do its best to take these pixels here and blend them together with the pixels here. And if we press the clone now, you will really see the difference, okay? So I press clone. And now you obviously see that Lightroom is taking exactly these pixels and bam, just stamping them right on, like basically cloning them, okay? And healing, it's trying to blend them together. And you can also move this here and wherever you move it, Lightroom tries to blend the background together with your selected background, okay? Now, a question that I first asked myself when I learned this is like, when should I use heal and when should I use clone? And to be honest, you just have to try. I think that most of the time I use healing, but sometimes I'm just working on a photo and I see something that I don't like, I remove it. And then I feel, you know, that Lightroom didn't do a good enough job. So I then toggle on a clone and see if that works. And sometimes it's just like, boom, clone works better. And sometimes healing works better. But there are situations where I preferably almost always use healing and that's on faces. So look, if we jump to another photo of my beautiful friend, Oscar, who is here, uh, we can see him, he looks like this. And let's say that we want to remove this little dot here. Now, if we toggle healing, we just place it on and boom. Lightroom is gonna find another place that it thinks is good and move it over. Now, I don't like this place that much, so I'm just gonna move it up here. And I think maybe here, and I think this is much better. Now, I want you to notice that here you can change the size. You can also change the feather of the brush tool and here you can change the opacity, all right? So here is zero opacity, here is maximum opacity, simple. This is also a perfect tool to remove shadows underneath the eyes. So look, we can take here and I have it healing on. I just move like this and you can see now that you don't always have to have a spot. This is also a brush tool, so you can brush whatever you like. And look, we have it like this. Lightroom is gonna find another spot. Let's have this a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, this is a cool spot. And now the nice thing here, look, is that you can take the opacity and move it down. So right around here. All right. So if we click here before and after, you see this is before and this is after. 
And you can always see we can have this a little bit more, maybe around here is good. And if you don't want to see these circles and everything that you've been doing, you can go down to here and you can press never. Okay. So now when we toggle on and off, you see this is before and this is after before after. Okay. Another question that I used to ask myself when I started messing around with this button removal tool was when is the perfect time to use this tool? And in my opinion, the best time to use this button removal tool is when either you're working on a face on a person, and you want to remove, you know, the small blemishes, maybe shadows underneath the eyes and all that different stuff. It's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. And if you want to remove smaller objects that are in the background of a picture, then it's also perfect. If you want to, however, remove a whole figure, like the entire Oscar right here, you need to jump in over to Photoshop. Lightroom is not good enough for that. But being able to, you know, do a lot of different types of spot removals within Lightroom saves a lot of time because then you don't have to jump into Photoshop and jump back into Lightroom, jump into Photoshop and back into Lightroom. Ain't nobody got time for that, you know? So I'll show you a little bit more in the other photo where it's perfect to use it. And then we just finish this video off. Okay, so we move all the way in here on this little flagpole. Now, as you know now, you can either click on Q or here, and then you have clone and heal, okay? Now, I don't like this size. We just have it like so. And then basically we're just gonna paint all the way down. You could have it even smaller. We paint down and we paint over here as well, okay? Now we see what Lightroom comes up with. Looks <laughs> not so good, but we drag the opacity all the way up. What does Lightroom come up with then? Okay, we can maybe decrease the feather just like this and increase the size and boom this is this is like this is pretty good and especially if you move out nobody's gonna notice now the perfect places to use this spot removal tool is when there is texture behind that is the same and it's easy for lightroom to overlay and here you can also check if which will work better healing or clone cloning here in this case healing works way better because cloning is probably let's see we took never here always it's basically taking this spot here and move it over, but healing is doing a job like this. And I would even move this maybe a little bit up, just like so. And yeah, then, and then to press done, zoom out, and boom, it's gone. And you can do this to every single thing that you want to like to remove. Just check if it works. If it works, mwah. now you know how to use the spot removal tool. You know that there is cloning and healing, and the difference is cloning takes exactly the pixels and healing try, takes the pixel and tries to blend it. Uh, you can mess with the size, the feather opacity, and the best place to use it is on either the faces or, you know, moving small objects and cleaning up the photos, in, at least in my opinion. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I promise that I will do my very best to answer. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Woo, we're finished. You have no idea. <laughs> How many times I filmed this video? I got a call. There was something, somebody on the line. Something happened. The camera died on me. Whoo! I think, you know, I've been here for at least two hours filming this. You know, what is this? Five, six, seven, eight minutes? What I don't do for you guys. I'll catch you up in the next video. I'm out. Peace.